In this video clip, we show a very simple example on how resampling can give us insight of stochastic st statistic characteristics of the data distribution. Uh, we don't do any of um, the ensemble learning methods here. <coughs> um, what we do is uh, something simpler. I want to remind you that in the entire learning process, the final hypothesis that has been generated by the learning algorithm is a, a random one. This entire learning process is a stochastic process. And the stochasticity, uh, the randomness, finally comes from that the data set is randomly distributed according to the data distribution. Note that this is the irreductible randomness. You can have fixed hypothesis family, you can have some uh, deterministic loss function, you can have some deterministic algorithm with some prescribed uh, initialization process. But the one factor we do not have any control is the gener generalization process, generating process of the training data set uh, with respect to the data distribution. So this final hypothesis is random, ultimately because the data set is random. So keep this in mind, we can forgo all these um, um, complexities of learning. We just want to see how the recently affects uh, our insight of uh, random distribution using something simpler. We can, we can investigate a simpler quantity that, determ that is determined by the random sample from a data distribution. Um, let us consider the task of um, estimating the median of a distribution from random samples. This is um, a simple enough task, right? So to, um, to simulate, to create a toy problem, let us prepare the environment. I will need the NumPy computation library and uh, I will need the NumPy computation lab library provides us uh, all sorts of random um, uh, stochastic uh, processing tools but uh, for simplicity I just use one that comes from um, native Python I use a random package uh, what I want to do, firstly, I want to generate, generate samples uh, that follows the Gaussian distribution or the norm distribution with um, the simple one, with the mean of 0 and uh, standard deviation of 1. So how to do that? We can, well, look. This two provides us a very convenience of uh, get a scratch cell. <clears throat> we can do something here without interrupting our our notebook. So let's see, um, Gauss. This function gives us one sample from the. Gaussian distribution, standard Gaussian distribution. What about if we want more? For example, uh, if we want 10 Gaussian distributed samples, we can do this 10 times. So in Python, you can create a list of uh, random variables by copy and paste that 10 times. But this is obviously not uh, a very uh, elegant way to do that. 
we can create a list. Know that a, a, a set of objects that is included in a pair of brackets using for loop. And we can write for loop uh, right after the, the description of the object. This is very, it may look a little bit weird at the first time, but when you read it, it reads very naturally. We have, we want to generate random variable, a random, random quantity for 10 times. So the loop variable here is not used because we just uh, generate random um, sample that does not depend on, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the index, on the loop variable, on which time it is generated, each time it generates using the same process of uh, uh, Gaussian distribution. So I just uh, use this underscore to represent some temporary variable I will not use. For that, in the range of 10, from 0 to 10, including 0, not including 10. So let's see what this process will give. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. After experimenting that and uh, find this makes sense, we can <coughs> just cut this here and let our sample to be this. And the median is, of course, the median sample. Um, fortunately, NumPy provides us the utility of computing median of uh, a list median samples. This is one experiment. But because we want to investigate this, uh, this quantity statistically, we want to know um, of course, we know that the median of a Gaussian distribution is zero, but what we really want to know is uh, how about if uh, we are limited in um, the aspect that we have to estimate the median. See, we do not know in prior the distribution is Gauss. Remember that in, in, in practice, sorry, in practice, the, the distribution is unknown. So if we want to simulate this situation, we want to know what is the estimation of 10 random samples generated drawn from this distribution? What is <coughs> this estimated value of the median, not the true median? Okay. So we do this multiple times for um, experiment in Actually, I do not use I in French. Let me do that 1,000 times. Indent that correctly. And uh, I need to uh, record the estimated median for each of the experiment. So I create a uh, median estimation estimation um, multiple experiment. I create an empty list for this. So I will let median estimation uh, multiple append the estimated median. Oh, this is what we want. Let's execute this. Um, let us examine the estimated media current numpy dot main media and uh, we will also want to know the variance of this estimation. So the mean value of the estimated median is uh, pretty um, close to the true value. This is not surprisingly because we have estimated, estimated the median for 1000 times anyway. And it has some, well, non-neglectable variance. That means for each of the 
for each of the 1000 uh, experiment you cannot we cannot uh, rely on that our 10 random samples are so good that our each individual estimation is very close to the true mean value okay <clears throat> in the next let us investigate how the resampling works so <clears throat> Let us do a um, bootstrap sampling experiment. For bootstrap sampling experiment, we only have one set of uh, random samples and one only. We never resample from the true data distribution anymore. And we will rely on this sample zero for all the following experiments. We also repeat 1000 times of the experiments um, and uh, let us allocate another um, list which we call that bootstrap estimation and here <coughs> we cannot resample from the random <coughs> excuse me from the previous one <coughs> As previously from the uh, true data distribution of the Gaussian distribution, we will resample from samples zero. How to do that? The random library also provides us um, useful uh, tool that is called choice. If one, two, five, maybe, if we let it uh, give us a choice in the uh, in list. This will randomly choose one sample from the list. Okay. And uh, what we need to do is to draw random samples from the original sample zero for the same number of uh, data samples as that many times and do that repeatedly with replacement. So this is what we need. Uh, let's close this scratch. And we replace this toy uh, list using the sample zero. Okay, uh, for this part should be the same, and for this part we look at this, and we also want to print out the estimated mean and uh, variance of. Uh, the median estimated by uh, bootstrap samples. So let's see how it goes. Uh, it seems that in, in this case, we have a really large bias of uh, the estimated median value. I think that's because we have a very bad luck in joining the, the, the original sample in the first place. But we do expect some, um, some, some variance of uh, the estimated value. Uh, let us examine what happened. Sample zero. Okay. So let's uh, execute that for multiple times and see how the bootstrap uh, 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 varies from each time, from time to time. Okay, it also gives a very biased uh, estimation of the of the mean, but it's now give um, honest report is uh, there is a large variance. So if you keep running that. Say, although the there are variance values of the mean value of the bootstrap um, uh, uh, um, uh, of the bootstrap uh, samples, that is uh, because we have only ten samples from the sample zero, and uh, from the uh, ground truth or golden standard uh, ideal multiple 
uh, independent sampling, we know that there is a large variance in each individual uh, sample, so the bias cannot be helped. But uh, we see that bootstrapping uh, honestly reports uh, from time to time there are some significant variance, even using one sample, um, one set of uh, 10 samples from the distribution. Bootstrap reports a uh, large variance, uh, which we should expect, even if we could resampling repeatedly from the original data distribution. Let us um, do some graphical investigation. Uh, in this, uh, I will use port on the Metaplotlib YPLOT and I will use a box plot to demo the two sets of uh, uh, quantities distribution um, that is median estimation multiple independent variables and median estimation uh, from bootstrap samples. Let's have a look graphically. Uh, oh. uh, I should use plt.show. Now, look, <coughs> this is a result from multiple uh, truly independent drawing from the data distribution. We get the distribution of estimated median in this way. And um, from only one sample, and we do the same number of random experiments, but in each of the experiments, instead of drawing samples from the uh, true data distribution, we redraw repeatedly from the, the only one random uh, uh, only one training set in the first place, we get the distribution of estimated media in this way. So although we have a bias here, um, this um, distribution uh, kind of give us an insight that if, if we want to estimate the median using only 10 samples from the Gaussian distribution, we would have a distribution of our estimated median. So this is the insight given by resampling. And recall that learning is also an estimation, can also be framed as an estimation business from random samples. So although we have only one set of training sample, uh, training, training samples, if we resample from the training samples, this may not improve the accuracy of the uh, prediction so much, but it can reduce the, help us to get some way to reduce the variance. Or on the other hand, um, which we will discuss later, it may allow us to build more sophistic sophisticated models, which can improve the accuracy without paying the price of higher variance or pay a lower price of, uh, of the high variance of uh, sophisticated models, which we will discuss later uh, when we're dealing with the bias versus variance topic.